Alright everyone, I'm going to do another quick video today. On the E28, we're going back to the E28, 528E from 1996. And this video was inspired by this man who left a comment on one of my E28 videos. This is for Joel Garcia. Rather than write a response, it would be better, I think, to just do a video. And he says, the heater for my car does not seem to function. I tried looking at the manual and doing some research and found that it is probably the coolant along with another problem, which is that my car overheats. I don't know how to fix it. Any guidance? Well, there's a couple things. I'm going to assume he's talking about another E28, like the one in the videos. And I'm also going to assume, and when he says the heat does not function, that he means the blower is not blowing hot air. I'm going to assume that he does not mean the blower is blowing, but the air coming out never gets hot. Because if that's the case, it could be your heat control, the little damper door, isn't switching from the cold side to the hot, so it's stuck on cold, so you'll always be getting cold air. That could be a problem if that's what he's indeed talking about, if the blower does work on his car. Or, if the blower is working and he is not getting hot air to come out, could be the heater core is clogged. So that there's no hot coolant moving through there. But I'm, I'm go again, I'm going to assume that that's not his problem. I'm going to assume that he doesn't have sludge in the cooling system, that he didn't throw a stop leak or something in there, that it's been changed regularly, it's clean, it's not clogged. I'm going to assume that's not his problem. Because if those are his problems, well then you're going to have to flush the heater core, change the coolant, and check to make sure that little damper door is moving from cold to hot and directing the flow where it needs to be. So if your problem is what I think it is, which is that the blower motor is not turning, not blowing, we're going to go out and address that. I'll show you what's going on with uh, my E28. And as for the overheating, I'll assume that you also have an advantage I don't have, which is that your temp gauge works. So you know that it's overheating, and we're going to go out and let you know what could be going on with that too. So stay tuned. This is for you, Joel Garcia. Okay, so again, we're going to assume that you say uh, it doesn't blow heat, as in no forced air is coming out of these vents. There's two blower motors in this car. The one for the air conditioner is in here. If you pull this thing off, there's a blower motor in there, that's for the air conditioner. You'll know that that's working, because if you press the button to turn the AC on, you'll get air. If you turn it off, and it start adjusting just the temperature, like you will put it on hot, and then you turn your speed all the way up, and nothing happens, the blower motor under the hood is bad. So, one easy way to test that, roll it to hot, turn the fan on, nothing happens. Press this button, all of a sudden it starts blowing air, that means this blower motor is good, the one under the hood is bad, and then that's your problem. And that's a pretty straightforward repair. And I'll show you where that is. Alright, so we're under the hood now. Behind this wall is where your heater blower motor is. It's not too bad to get to, really. It's pretty straightforward repair. There's a few little nuts right along here that hold it in. You may have to cut those little uh, zip ties. And you'll be able to pull that thing through. Or fold it down, rather, and then you'll get, gain access to the motor. Now, before you do all that, do check to make sure that your fuse isn't blown. It'll be the fuse that goes right here. I have it out right now because I originally planned on starting this car. It's this little guy. He is a 8 amp fuse, maybe, I think. It's upside down. 25 amp fuse. Okay, heater, blower, air conditioning. I don't know why it says air conditioning, because that's the blower motor for the heat, but... I'll put it in now, since I can't start the car to demonstrate. Uh, if you're overheating, the first thing you want to hope for is that it is not your head gasket. This is pretty easy to test, right, if you're blowing up, if you're using coolant, if your coolant is vanishing, and it is not leaking, 
you're either blowing out the tailpipe or you're evaporating it by blowing combustion gas into the cooling system. So you could, I d believe they make a test to run on your tailpipe that'll test for antifreeze. Now there's another test that I have where it'll just detect combustion gases. So you got this test fluid, it's kind of blue in color and you get this little kit now in here is where you fill the test tube so you'll fill it up up to here with that blue liquid and then you take your little apparatus here and you'll squeeze it you'll put it like this this car that's where you put it. You'll pull the cap off, you'll put this down in there with the fluid filled up to the level and you'll start squeezing this little ball and it's gonna suck the air up from the uh, cooling system into this little tester. Now, when it does that, you're gonna do that for about two minutes, but trust me, if uh, you have a blown head gasket, it is not gonna take two minutes for the fluid to change color. It'll change color, it'll change to like green or yellow in color. It'll get brighter. That means you have carbon monoxide in the cooling system. You have blown the head gasket. So I got this thing at, either got it on Amazon or eBay. Uh, it's just a leak block tester or something like that. Combustion gas. Here we go. Com OEM combustion leak tester. This is what you want. And I don't believe it comes with the test fluid. You have to buy that separately, I think. But you'll need this and the fluid. That'll let you know if you blew on the head gasket. If it is, not the end of the world. Uh, I did the one, uh, the reason I have this, because I replaced the head gasket on my wife's Neon, and that was a way bigger pain in the ass than it would be to replace the head gasket on this car. So in addition to the combustion leak test, you can also pull that off and start the car and look in there and see if there's like a bunch of bubbles coming up. If there's a bunch of bubbles blowing up. It's most, and there's, it's kind of steamy and hot looking. That's your exhaust gas, that's why you're overheating. You blew the head gasket, exhaust gas, which is hot, is leaking into the cooling system. But, maybe you're lucky and that's not the problem. Maybe it's something simple. This is a mechanical fan clutch down there. This fan, the cooling fan, has a clutch. It's not too hard to change, really. All you gotta do is just pull this little shroud off and then there's a special tool you can use to make this easier. Uh, if you haven't seen the video, check out my E38 video. I believe it's the first video on the playlist. I replaced the fan clutch on that car. Straightforward. You use the one tool to grab onto those little nuts coming off the end of the pulley. That'll hold the pulley still. And then you use the other tool to rotate in a clockwise direction because this is reverse threaded. So what you would normally be doing to tighten will loosen the fan. It comes off like that. Pull it off. Pull the fan clutch off. Replace it with a new one. You can test this with... Um, see, I wish this car was running so I could demonstrate. But I use like an index card or like a, uh, like a birthday card or something that somebody gives you. That you probably have stuff somewhere you don't use. Stick that in the fan when it's rotating and see if it slows the fan down. If you can use something flimsy like that... You know, a fairly stiff piece of cardboard to slow or stop the fan. Your fan's not blowing enough air, and then that's probably your problem. That uh, could also be the AC fan, the electric fan. Probably that's in here on this side. That's probably not the problem because you really you could do with one fan or the other. Uh, but when it's hot out, that fan will come on if you turn the air conditioner on. So that's you have a clogged thermostat, or this thermostat is stuck closed. You'd use your temp gun to start checking different temperatures, right? You want to make sure that this side's hot, this side's cool, this side's also going to be hot because it's really the bypass. It's whenever this thermostat's not open, it's just circulating. The coolant is being pumped from the water pump through the head, and that's it's just keep going around and around. So use your temp gun. Harbor Freight sells these hella cheap. 
buy one if you don't have one. I have to with this car because none of the gauges work. Temp gauge doesn't work. The only way I'll know if this is overheating is if I aim it and then it gives me a temperature. And in this case, it's going to be like ridiculously cold out. Check that previous video when it's actually running. You might get an idea of what your temperatures are supposed to look like if everything's working. And the only other thing I could think of as to why you're overheating, if it's not a blown head gasket, the thermostat is working, right? You can see that you keep checking the temperature. It's hot, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. And then all of a sudden it starts dropping in temperature. That means the thermostat just opened. And then this side's going to get warmer, that side's going to get cooler, right? You're going to know that, okay, that works. That's not the problem. So what else could it be? Well, it could be the radiator. Either it's clogged up or sludged up or it's just wore out. Maybe you didn't change the coolant. Maybe it's corroded in there. Maybe you just cannot dissipate heat anymore. It could just be as simple as replacing the radiator. It's also not a complicated job on this, as you can see. Uh, it's, I mean, it's like in and out. Not a hard job. I mean, as rare as that is, I suppose the only other thing that could happen is maybe the uh, impeller in your water pump is busted. Right? So it's not turning. It's not moving any coolant. Uh, I don't think that it happens very often. It's rare, so that would be like the last thing on the list that I would be concerned about. Because if your engine's running, your water pump should be turning because it runs off the timing belt. And then with that leak test, you just put that little dealy whopper in there, fill it with fluid, and then suck on the, squeeze the apparatus and start sucking the air up. It'll come up through there, and if there's carbon monoxide in your coolant, it'll show in that test. fan, as you can see it is rotating, if I can stick my hand in there, but you get the card, stick it in the blades, and if it slows the fan down at all, the clutch is bad, and it's as simple as a repair as that. Again, the other thing you want to check is make sure your radiator temperatures are, make sure it's actually working, right? So whenever this hose finally heats up, this tank is going to be warm. In this case, it's 52. And then this side will be cooler. In this case, it's probably going to be 20-something. Yeah. So as you can see, this is how you know when your thermostat's closed. Hot on this side. Cold on this side. Then this is the bypass going to the water pump. So this temperature should be relatively similar to this temperature. I might also suggest there is a rare instance, uh, which would also be a pretty simple fix, that it could be your radiator cap itself. And now that we're inside the car, I'll show you what I mean with the air conditioner, right? Works. Stops. Turn it to hot. Nothing. Press the button. Works. That means this blower motor works. The one under the hood doesn't. Does this car just beep at me? <laughs> but there you go, that's how you can test uh, if in fact it is your blower motor like you were saying earlier or uh, what I'm assuming is what you meant earlier. Due to it being ridiculously cold out, my feet are cold and this is gonna take forever to heat up at this rate since I'm not driving it. You do get the idea. If your thermostat is sh stuck shut, you're gonna see huge temperature variations. Like here, we're finally at 109, but over here we're still barely above freezing. Over here on the bypass, the water pump side, 100. So if this never changes temperature, right, or what I'm getting at is if this side never cools down, which is what would happen eventually if I leave this on here long enough, this is going to keep going up, it's going to hit a certain temperature, and then it's going to go back down which means that the cool water from this side is going in and cooling the head. Never does that, then that's your problem is the thermostat. But if that's functioning properly, it could be your head gasket, could be the radiator cap, could be your fan clutch, or could be the radiator itself. So now we've got the car running, you've, uh, what I mostly wanted to do is demonstrate how the temperatures are going to work and then show you how the blower motor works. So 
I think you got it now. Sorry uh, to drone on and on and repeat myself numerous times, but I wanted to, ham I wanted to answer your question. And I haven't made a video in a while on this car anyway, so why not? Um, Alright, hope that helps. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.